I think I've mentioned this a couple times before, but what the hey, I'll mention it again. I love animation. Now, yes, I have liked animation all my life. I think it's been 2017 or 2018 when I really open up to see how much I really enjoy this sort of a genre. And one of the reasons why is probably thanks to all the incredible animated movies we got that one year, which is very, uh, s sequel based. <laughs> I never knew original mainstream anime flicks were sinful back then. Then again, the Emoji Movie came out around that time, so I guess we should just count our lucky stars then. I think one of the actual reasons why I've gotten so heavily into animation was the fact that in my senior year, I was taking two separate film classes. One was over film history, which, take a guess, take a guess what that's about. And if you guessed that was a cooking class, then close, but it was more over looking over the history of film, and the other film class was over actually how they create and make films. And not only were we given the very high-end things such as Photoshop and things like that, but we were also given the ability to test out animation in Blender. And one of the first things we were actually instructed to do was to actually make a circle of text going around a circle saying, I think like, Tufts University or something like that. And thanks to the power of old tweets, we managed to find the actual old animation and here it is. And I was all like, whoa, what? I, I made that? This, what? The, what? <laughs> okay, I was, I was very excited. It's a very simple animation, but just look at it. It's such a cool thing. Just having a, a, a circle of text going around just a circle. And after that, I wanted to try doing more animation in Blender on my own time. But unfortunately, as time went on, I sort of uh, lost inspiration and motivation for trying to do it. But even though I lost inspiration and motivation for working in Blender and 3D animation, I was still really interested in seeing what other people can do and create in 3D and 2D animation. And the reason I mentioned 2D animation was, I guess, because I was also taking a drawing class, so I guess I was also learning about the, uh, the concepts and the works of 2D animation at the time, too. And one of the easy things I can explain from this one class that I learned is the fact that frame rates use a lot of different types of pictures. And that's something I wanted to try to do on this one channel, but I don't think I'm skilled enough quite yet to do that. But as of lately, I have been trying to get back into 3D animation with the use of a software called Minimator. And while I'm only at the point where I can only position the characters in the right format to get a thumbnail, I think it's still a good step in the right direction. And also I think one day I'd like to try perfecting my 2D animation too. Mainly just to figure out the motion-wise of these one characters, because you know what? They're already works of art. I don't know, maybe I'm just a weird guy who likes the behind-the-scenes things of animated flicks. But you know what? So long as I keep trying, I'll continually get better and better and better at this animation thing. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.